hi can you hear me i guess now you can hear me i wasn't talking until then okay then let us get started i will share the screen now so thank you so much everyone uh hi hi bhavya hi mr adish ji arsh everyone kushbu mihir pankaj ji we'll, we'll get started okay uh yeah please do not mind if i missed out on a name can you see the screen now okay and now uh, if you have anything to answer please answer on the q and a okay ask a question in the q and a section you can see a q and a section in the below because chat uh, uh, because if you if if you take something on the chat box i will take time to see it and if you miss it something on the q and a i can reply instantly this is a webinar format uh, okay so hi everybody now before we are getting started let me uh, start with a few facts okay about stock market see now that you are starting now you you whatever you had learned in the webinar okay that is good enough to get started but now what we are going to learn is going to give you an edge now what is the meaning of an edge now edge is like edge is something like okay you have been doing something and now you get better on it okay you don't become perfect in stock market do not expect things to get perfect okay just uh, start with a mindset that okay you are getting an edge and you are better than other people who have entered the market without any knowledge you are already ahead of most of the people who do not know about risk management and uh mind psychology so i hope you uh, took the notes and you have the ppt as well of the uh, of the webinar that we conducted okay uh, so we have yes 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 just a minute oh. okay so can you hear me please reply on the chat box can you hear me okay so let's get started thank you so there are a few facts about stock market that you must know first is anything can happen okay uh, did you did you watch the market yesterday what happened was that the market opened with a 3% fall and then later on it covered everything so there is no uh, there, there is no way you can predict such a moment okay so no matter how much ever you may learn anything can happen now what will save you from anything that could happen it is your risk management okay second now you don't need to know what is going to happen now it is not important for me to know what is trump going to say or either what mr modi is going to do or what or or what natural calamity may come okay i do not need to know about it i i strictly believe that you should not follow news okay we are not we are not going to follow news what we are going to follow is just the chart patterns okay we will we will talk about it our charts they will tell us everything we don't have to go to investing.com or economic times or times of india or any such news channels to uh, know what is going to happen next because that is not necessary for you to make money second third is there is no holy grail system now what is the meaning of holy grail system holy grail system का मतलब होता है कि ऐसा सिस्टम जिससे आपको हमेशा प्रॉफिट ही हो तो ऐसा होने वाला है नहीं हम सिर्फ रिस्क मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर चलेंगे आर रिस्क टू रिवॉर्ड इज गोइंग टू बी हम एक रुपए के रिस्क 
पर दो रुपया कमाने की कोशिश करेंगे दैट इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू गो अहेड देन ट्रेडिंग इज अ गेम ऑफ इमोशन हेंस वंस वी हैव लर्न आई वुड स्ट्रिक्टली सजेस्ट दैट यू स्टार्ट विथ पेपर ट्रेडिंग फॉर मिनिमम ट्वेंटी ट्रेडिंग सेशन ओके अंडरस्टैंड हाउ योर इमोशन आर गोइंग वन मोर थिंग डू नॉट ट्राई टू टेक मोर देन वन ट्रेड इन वन पर्टिकुलर इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉट डज दैट मीन If you are trading in index, for example, Nifty or Bank Nifty, take only one trade in that particular segment. Or if you are trading a stock, only take one trade in a day for that particular uh, stock. Okay. And the last important, we are learning to get an edge, not to achieve perfection in trading outcomes. Okay. We will get perfection over a concept, but not over our trading uh, outcomes. So. With that note, let us get started and let us go ahead. Okay. Now, first, technical analysis is a never-ending topic. Okay. Now there are a thousand patterns, a thousand indicators, and uh, there's just no end to it. Okay. But however, we at Saral Trading we aim to make things simple. Okay. Things that can actually work. Things that you can apply. See, if I tell you that you know you have to go to the gym every day, and every day if you have to Uh, you know sweat to an extent that your uh, body breaks down you won't be able to go the next day when we start we start slow okay and uh, we we try to do things that require uh, consistency and not uh, you know the results will come Let, let's just look for an easy process okay we don't want to complicate things we want to keep it as simple as we can and with that note i want to remind you again that okay technical analysis is just 20% of your trading success the rest is like i said how you manage your risk and how you control your emotions okay with that note uh, now we are going to start technical analysis so is everyone in the right mindset at the moment it's very important that all of us uh, you know have a very clear thinking about how we are going to approach so are we clear with the approach please uh, like you know if we have a if if anybody has a doubt please uh, let's 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 deal with it right now only okay good to see almost all our uh, participants have joined yes yes okay so with this note let us get started okay now see this is uh, this is what everybody thinks okay that technical analysis has to be like this but trust me this way you cannot take decisions okay and we don't want technical analysis our charts to look like this okay now what is a chart chart is an area wherein you try to find what is happening to the price bhai price mein kya halchal ho rahi hai wo aap chart ki help se analyze karte ho हमारे चार्ट ऐसे नहीं लगने चाहिए चार्ट क्या होता है कैसे उसको एनालाइज करते हैं वो हम सब सीखेंगे दैट इज सेकेंडरी ओके ऑल आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल्यूज दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टडी लाइक दिस आर चार्ट दे शुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके वेरी सिंपल यू नो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके द प्राइज गॉन अप दे गॉन डाउन दैट्स इट नथिंग मोर टू इट ओके लेट्स लेट्स अवॉइड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन now what is technical analysis technical analysis is a trading discipline focus on the word discipline okay now i am going to teach you a few concepts okay it is very important that you stick to one concept apply it at least at least over 20 trading session understand how you are feeling he feeling the concept okay for example uh, tomorrow we are going to do a very simple technique okay it's called uh, support and resistance but automation automated support and resistance okay it's very simple and it's very uh, useful for someone who wants to trade like you know only after lunch hours only one trade a day okay then we are going to learn about price action now price action is a thing of a full time trader i am going to teach you a few concepts about price action as well but that is for a person 
who can sit on the screen all day okay so we will first decide what we want to be and then we go ahead with it so technical analysis basically you learn a concept and then you apply it with strict discipline consistency you look for opportunities you manage your risk and then you take a trade okay so what does how does technical analysis help us technical analysis ki madad se aapko help milti hai price ko forecast karne ki price mein tezi hai mandi hai kya hai hame ye sab malum kaise padta hai technical analysis se now with this note let us get let, let us move ahead okay now so we know what is technical analysis now this is a very important aspect that we are going to discuss now lot of you or like you know just like anybody uh, you may be of the opinion ki bhai technical analysis sirf stock market mein kaam aata hai but this is wrong technical analysis ka ek versatile feature that is ki aap technical analysis ko kahin pe bhi apply kar sakte ho be it stock market aap stock market ke andar bhi apply kar sakte ho commodity market ke andar apply kar sakte ho forex market ke andar apply kar sakte ho any market okay बिकॉज टेक्निकल एनालिसिस जो है वो हिस्टोरिकल डेटा को स्टडी करके आपको इंडिकेशन देता है ठीक है ना टेक्निकल एनालिसिस इज लाइक ड्राइविंग अ कार अगर आपने एक बार कोई कार चलाना सीख लिया है तो आपको हर बार कोई दूसरी कार चलाने के लिए कार ड्राइविंग सीखना नहीं पड़ेगा यू कैन लाइक यू नो इट्स नेचुरल प्रोसेस वंस यू लॉन्टेड यू कैन ड्राइव एनी कार इफ यू लॉन्ट स्विमिंग यू कैन स्विम इन एनी स्विमिंग पूल यू डोंट हैव टू लर्न एवरी टाइम ओके वेरियस फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस we had discussed the difference between a trader and an investor when we got started now what a fundamental analysis does is that he has to you know uh, like for example banking ki uh, study alag hoti hai banking sector ki nbfc sector ki alag hoti hai real estate sector ki alag hoti hai so fundamental analysis is difficult because you know you have to uh, apply the knowledge uh, whatever knowledge you have you have to apply with respect to what you are learning fundamental analysis evolves but technical analysis once you have learned you can apply it anywhere okay yes you can apply anywhere so that just just start with that uh, that sort of uh, mind frame that okay i'm learning something which can be applied anywhere it's like driving a car once you get a gist of it it will be very easy it may seem like a new language now yes technical analysis in the beginning may seem like a new language to you but with time it's going to get easy okay now what does a chart look like okay now we know what is technical analysis now we are going to basically read a chart okay we are going to read a chart to analyze the price okay so what does a chart look like now these are called candlesticks okay what are candlesticks we are going to learn don't worry but as of now just understand that this is depicting a price okay this is how the price are moving on the right hand side you have prices okay Are we clear on this? This is how a chart looks like. Does anyone have a question? You can please uh, uh, put the question in the chat box, or also you can put it in a Q and A. Does anyone have a question? We are starting with the process now. Like I suggested. these are candlestick patterns okay the green ones the red ones the green the red ones now we will learn what are these candlestick patterns that you see on the chart so these are candlestick patterns okay now what are candlestick patterns see now they are like stories okay candlestick patterns they are like stories they tell you that you know for a particular time okay who is strong the buyer is strong or the seller is strong it tells you how what, what are the emotions of a trader okay is there matlab kya kya bahut dar hai ya kya bahut greed hai jab trading ho rahi hai usme kya chal raha hai you know you understand what market participants are doing it tells you ki market participants ki strength kya hai aur weakness kya hai buyers wo log un logon mein zyada dam hai ya sellers ke andar also one of the most important thing to know is that candlestick pattern okay they make they make most sense at relevant location we'll learn about it okay what is relevant location now think of candlestick uh, patterns in term of psychology okay 
just just try to understand okay that you know what is now do not uh, uh, try to be very uh, like you know very firm on your thinking let 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 your process evolve okay for example now there are two types of candlesticks okay it is called this is called a bullish a uh, candlestick pattern and this is called a bearish candlestick pattern so candlestick basically has uh, basically has like you know three three uh, three main parts this is called the body okay this is called the body this is called the lower shadow this is called the upper shadow okay what is it this is called the body this is called the upper shadow lower shadow you can also call it wicks what can you call it wicks it is also called wicks so this is called a bullish pattern now bullish uh, candlestick pattern ka matlab kya hota hai ki prices jo hai wo 100 mein open hue theek hai but close kahan pe hue for the day 105 iska matlab kya ho gaya ki market mein tezi hai theek hai ab Let's have a look at this. Okay, now for a bullish candle, this is the open. मतलब market खुला नीचे और बंद हुआ ऊपर. As of now, understand this. This is called the open and this is called the close. Okay, and what does these shadows suggest? For example, let's assume that yesterday. Let's assume that okay, this is mon. This is Monday. Okay, on Monday. this is this was the range of a stock okay it opened at 100 you can easily see but it made a low of 98 that means that for that particular day the prices went below 98 okay however by the during the day it also made a high what is the meaning of high ki us din ka highest price ye tha let's assume ki us din ka highest price tha 110 but it closed where it closed at 105 so what are, what does candlestick pattern suggest that on this particular day on this particular day the buyers they were very strong the price opened here but closed above okay and it made a high but then later it closed here so what does this suggest that at this price there were some sellers Okay, who pushed the prices down and the prices closed at one zero five. At one zero five, it made a high of one one zero. Okay, but it closed at one zero five. This is the basic of candlestick patterns. Okay, we are going to learn a lot about it. Now we are going to talk about the second candlestick pattern. It's called bullish candle. Bullish. Uh, sorry, it's called bearish candlestick pattern. So what does this suggest? That the prices opened at hundred and five. it opened higher but it closed lower 105 okay it opened at a higher price but closed at a lower price on a particular day that was monday the price opened at 105 but closed at 100 okay but on the same day it also made a high now this wick this shadow upper shadow it is suggesting that okay it made a high बिफोर कमिंग डाउन मतलब मार्केट भले 105 पे खुला लेकिन एक बार उसने 108 का या 110 का हाई मारा उसके बाद वापस सेलर्स यहां पे सेलर्स एक्टिवेट हुए और प्राइजेस को एकदम नीचे लेके गए कितना नीचे लेके गए 95 तक लेकिन क्लोज कहां पे हुआ 100 नाउ व्हाट वुड दिस बी कॉल्ड इसको बोलेंगे हम मंदी दिवस ओके okay? यहाँ पे इस दिन पर बहुत मंदी थी और इस दिन पर क्या थी तेजी आर वी क्लियर विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वी विल वी विल गो ऑन द चार्ट्स आल्सो एंड हैव अ लुक एट इट बट आर वी क्लियर यू कैन रेज योर हैंड इफ एनीबडी हैज अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन श्योरली रेज योर रेज योर हैंड Now let's have a look at candlestick patterns on a chart. Okay. Now we will use trading view because I guess most of you do not have Zerodha, but I highly suggest that you get uh, an account with Zerodha because they are very nice trading software. And also, the good part is that they provide you with uh, inbuilt trading view software also. So first, let us go and have a look at how uh, things look. Okay. 
Now this is my Achha, does everyone know what is a nifty does everyone know what is nifty because i had uh, like you know i had spoken about it already in the introductory section session does everyone know nifty okay okay so it's an index okay basically nifty is an index jisme india ke jo top 50 companies hai uske stocks ko combine karke ek index banayi gayi hai which makes it easier to track the market okay so now let us understand and analyze okay now this is called a chart okay now we will see how candlestick patterns are red okay i am using right now i am using my zeroda kite okay kite software however this software inbuilt provides trading view so this is the trading view platform on kite zeroda zeroda okay this is zeroda if you open an account with zeroda you get access to this chart in case if you don't have a, a zeroda account okay just mail me i'll give you my dormant account jo jo account mai use nahi kar raha hu now let's uh, let's get started okay we are going to read how candlestick patterns work now what happened now this is what this is uh, can you see the screen properly this is 3rd september okay on this particular day the price opened here closed here what does that suggest it was a bearish day okay it was a bearish day is din pe mandi thi usi din agar aap dekho theek hai we are going to zoom in zoom in zoom in can you see the screen properly yeah okay so on what what happened on this day the price is opened the price is opened at 11602 but closed below you can see on the right hand side the prices are there okay again uh, if you want i'll zoom in more so what is happening now look at look at this particular day okay price is opened here closed here price is opened here closed here what does it suggest market mein mandi hai market mein bhav khula upar tha lekin band niche hua hai band kahan hua hai niche market opened here closed here opened here closed here opened here closed here but see what has happened during the entire day okay the price is went down also the lower shadow it suggests that okay the price is went down and then buyers buyers came in here they pushed the prices and finally it closed here look at this candle properly it opened here closed here but during the day it went down as this much okay so for a bearish candle mandi ke din bhav upar khulta hai lekin band niche hota hai वहीं पे अगर हम तेजी देखें तो यहाँ पे देखो मार्केट खुला ऊपर है खुला नीचे है और बंद ऊपर हुआ है और यहाँ पे देखिए नीचे खुला ऊपर खुला नीचे बंद हो रहा है ऊपर खुला नीचे बंद हो रहा है ऊपर खुला नीचे बंद हो रहा है नाउ लुक एट दिस कैंडल ओके दीज आर द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग कैंडल वॉट इज हैपन ड्यूरिंग दिस डे प्राइज इज ओके दे ओपन डेओ Open at which level? Eleven thousand three hundred. Look at here. Okay, look here. Eleven thousand three hundred. However, closed at eleven thousand one fifty. But during the day, it made a big low of ten thousand eight hundred. So what? What? What is it suggesting? That okay, the prices went down, but this was the level wherein the buyers came. यहाँ पे market में कौन आए? जो लोग बाइंग करते बाइंग करके उन लोगों ने मार्केट को यहां पे क्लोज किया सो व्हाट इज द व्हाट हैव यू लर्न फर्स्ट इज दिस इज द बॉडी ओके दिस टेल्स यू द एक्शन आफ्टर द डे जब दिन खत्म हो गया तो दिन के अंदर क्या क्या हुआ बट दीज शेडोज ओके दीज विक्स व्हाट डू दे डू दे टेल यू हाउ आर द बायर्स एंड सेलर्स बिहेविंग now even though the price is just a minute 
even though the prices went below they went down so much but buyers came in they pushed the market buyers came in they pushed the market okay look at look at look at how, how look at now what can you say what what does the trend look like in the market Now, this is what the market looks like at the moment okay markets are just going down okay please we are not talking what is happening uh, what has happened recently we are just talking we are just talking how the market has behaved over the recent time okay so now is can everyone read the candlestick pattern properly or do you want to see more examples or do you want to spend more time please let me know this is the basic okay everything is going to revolve around this Okay. 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 Let's go again. Okay. Let's let's take a lot of examples. Okay. I understand it's a new language. This is like. Okay. Again. So first of all, there are two types of candlestick patterns. Okay. There is bullish or bearish. ठीक है बुलिश क्या हो गया मंदी उस दिन मार्केट के अंदर भाव खुला ऊपर लेकिन बंद हुआ नीचे और एक होती है ग्रीन कैंडल वो क्या होती है भाव नीचे खुला लेकिन बंद हुआ ऊपर दो तरह की कैंडल है रेड और ग्रीन रेड का मतलब क्या है उस दिन मार्केट में मंदी थी ग्रीन का मतलब क्या है उस दिन मार्केट में तेजी थी और कैंडल के अंदर और क्या चीजें है अपर शेडो एंड लोअर शेडो अपर शेडो से मालूम पड़ता है कि उस दिन का हाई कहां पे था और लोअर शेडो से मालूम पड़ता है कि उस दिन का लो कहां पे था इस कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ वापस हम शुरू करते हैं वापस हम कुछ एग्जांपल्स देखते हैं नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस कैंडल ओके सो द प्राइसेस हैव ओपनड हियर दे हैव क्लोज्ड हियर व्हाट डज इट सजेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज अ रेड कैंडल रेड कैंडल है मतलब क्या है मार्केट में मंदी है मंदी व्हाट इज इट व्हाट डज इट सजेस्ट मंदी Now let's have it. This let's have a look at this this trading session. Okay, what does it suggest? The mark price is opened here. Okay, during the day the prices went below. This lower can this lower uh, shadow it suggests that prices me itni mandi aayi thi prices itne niche gaye. Lekin jaise hi prices yahan pe aaye buyers activate hue aur wo prices ko leke gaye itna upper. Do you see? It was a very active day. मतलब एक ही दिन में there was a movement of about one thousand points on Nifty. Okay, it's a huge movement. मतलब आपको मालूम क्या पड़ रहा है इससे? Again, this is a very good example. Okay, the price is opened here. First of all, it's a green day, so it was a bullish day. Okay, it was a bullish day. Green day मतलब क्या? Bullish day. ठीक है? उसके बाद होता क्या है प्राइसेस जाते हैं एज लो एज दिस मच ओके प्राइसेस गो दिस लो बट यहां पर बायर्स एक्टिवेट होते हैं कौन बायर्स एक्टिवेट होते हैं ठीक है और प्राइसेस को ऊपर लेके जाते हैं यहां पे ठीक है फाइनली प्राइसेस इधर क्लोज प्राइसेस मेक अ हाई बट यहां पर फिर सेलर्स एक्टिवेट होते हैं एंड प्राइसेस फाइनली क्लोज होते हैं यहां पर कहा क्लोज होते हैं यहां पे उसी तरह वी कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन सी प्राइस इज ओपन हियर क्लोज्ड हियर ओके ओपन हियर क्लोज्ड हियर सो ग्रीन कैंडल बुलिश मतलब उस दिन तेजी थी फिर ये देखिए ये है रेड कैंडल प्राइस इज ओपन यहां पे हुए क्लोज नीचे हुए बियरिश डे इस दिन पे मंदी थी यहां पे देखिए प्राइस इज नीचे खुले और प्राइस इज ऊपर खुले और बंद नीचे हुए लेट्स टेक द रीसेंट एग्जांपल कल का एग्जांपल 
कल क्या हुआ डिड एनी वन फॉलो द मार्केट येस्टे येस्टे द प्राइज मार्केट ओपन अबाउट फोर परसेंट सॉरी अबाउट थ्री परसेंट बिलो ओके इट वॉज थ्री परसेंट नेगेटिव ठीक है लेकिन उसके बाद क्या हुआ येस्टे बायर्स वर सो एक्टिव ओके दैट इट क्लोज इट मेड अ ग्रीन कैंडल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड it opened at 95 and on the right hand side you can see see 9500 is the price but closed at 9900 so yesterday buyers were active so let's get let's understand the psychology when there is a green candle okay it suggests that okay there are buyers are very strong when it's a red candle the sellers are very strong now when you see an upper shadow what does that suggest okay it made a high for example bhav 100 ka hai प्राइस ने 105 का हाई मारा है लेकिन हाई मार के बाद हाई मारने के बाद क्या हो रहा है सेलर्स एक्टिवेट हो रहे हैं प्राइस थोड़ा नीचे खुल रहा है बहुत सारे एग्जांपल में हमने देखा फॉर एग्जांपल यहाँ पे देखो हाई मारा मार्केट ने इतना हाई तो मारा लेकिन यहाँ पे क्लोज का हुआ क्लोज उसके नीचे हुआ सो अंडरस्टैंड दीज शेडोज दे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दे टेल यू हाउ द बायर्स एंड सेलर्स आर एक्टिंग वो कैसे रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं एक पर्टिकुलर प्राइस के ऊपर डोंट वरी अभी हम तो कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न्स भी सीखने वाले हैं बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है यू नो जस्ट ट्राई टू रीड दिस एज हाउ ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी इज बिहेविंग फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे फुल तेजी है यहां पे मंदी है यहां पे लोग थोड़े सेलिंग कर रहे हैं घबरा रहे हैं अंडरस्टैंड ओके नाउ दिस इज द वे आई रीड चार्ट ओके विद कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न्स ओके नाउ देयर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु रीड चार्ट इन एन अदर मैनर ओके Now I'll tell you another ways in which people read a chart. Okay, this is a chart. Okay, we are seeing the prices on the chart with the help of candlestick patterns. Okay, these are called candlestick patterns. Now there are a lot of people who read charts in another manner. For example, there are these. Uh, there is something called bars. Okay, log bars ko padte. But in bars, me, what is not coming to mind? You see the line. Now this is how people read charts. Okay. Now can you understand anything? Now you you saw how candlestick patterns work. Now, by just reading this chart, can you understand the psychology of the buyers and sellers? Please reply to me on the chat box. Can you see the difference? We just read candlestick patterns, okay? We were reading about candlestick patterns. Now, what we are seeing is a line chart. Now, does line chart tell you anything? Can you understand? what was what do you think was better candlestick patterns or these uh, okay so getting properly bhavya says he is understanding properly okay you can also all candlestick is better okay so i get a understanding that all of you agree that candlestick pattern is a better way of understanding the market okay see you know trading becomes interesting when you try to understand when you try to understand candlestick patterns okay you know you get how aapko samajh mein aayega ki buyers kaise react kar rahe hain sellers kaise react kar rahe hain uska ek alag hi maza hai you know aap trade karo na karo lekin chart ko padhne ka maza bahut alag hai aap dekhiye yahan pe apko kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha yahan se aapko malum pad raha hai price upar ja rahi hai niche ja rahi hai but buyers sellers kya kar rahe hain wo kuch malum nahi pad raha hai theek hai kuch bhi malum nahi pad raha hai isliye so bahut dekho then there are many other options okay but we are going to stick to only see now there is something like this also but we are going to stick to only candlestick patterns okay so you now you get so much information just by looking at the candlestick pattern now there is a history to it but i suggest that if you want uh, if you want to know more about candlestick patterns i am going to uh, give a uh, give a ebook okay now it's it, it's of 150 pages okay read it slowly like a story book आपको इतना मजा आएगा कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न पढ़ने का यू नो इट्स लाइक अ लैंग्वेज जस्ट जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके व्हाट बायर्स एंड सेलर्स आर डूइंग धीरे धीरे आपको बहुत मजा आएगा जस्ट स्टिक टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ रीडिंग कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न्स डू नॉट ट्राई टू मग इट अप ओके अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग समझो इसको बहुत मजा आएगा विद दैट नोट वी विल 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 गो बैक टू द पीपीटी ओके So now we have, we've just understood that you know what are candlestick patterns? How 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 do how do they look? Now there are various types of candlestick patterns. We'll come back to it. Okay. Now we are going to learn about 
something which is very very important okay time frame analysis now what is time frame analysis time frame analysis is is, is like cricket uh, like you know, the, the different formats of cricket okay example lete hain hum jaise cricket ke andar t20 bhi hota hai odi bhi hota hai aur test bhi hota hai and tino ke liye to be frank ek alag alag type ka mindset chahiye player chahiye i guess apart from virat kohli we do not have anybody who can play all the three formats very well okay so iska matlab kya hota hai ki aapka jo approach hota hai it has to be dependent on the type of game you are playing you cannot play a test cricket test game with the mindset of odi or you cannot play a t20 game with the mindset of test cricket okay so i hope you are clear now we, now i'm going to uh, uh, like you know combine the concept of cricket uh, formats okay with उस दिन की पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी ओके उसी तरह आप बहुत सारे आप जो टाइम चूज करोगे ना उसको हम बोलते हैं टाइम फ्रेम एनालिसिस लेट्स गो टू द चार्ट अगेन एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डज इट मीन ओके मैं अगर बोलूंगा समझ में आएगा नहीं आप कंफ्यूज हो जाओगे सो लेट अस गो बैक टू द चार्ट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइम फ्रेम कहां मिलता है हमें चार्ट के ऊपर टाइम फ्रेम सी वी विल स्टडी ओके हाउ टू यूज tradingview.com और हाउ टू लाइक यू नो how to apply the charts okay we will understand for now let's let, let us just uh, note that this is where you see time frames okay now there are different types of time frame there is 1 minute time frame there is 2 minutes time frame there is 3 minutes time frame 4 minutes one day what we were studying In the previous example was one day. So, in particular, day के अंदर activity क्या थी? Okay, are we clear? What we ये जो हम अभी chart देख रहे हैं, this chart it is telling you that for particular day what was the activity. For example, भाई कल क्या हुआ? कल पूरे दिन की activity है, परसों की activity. उसी तरह पिछले एक-एक दिन की activity. Okay? लेकिन अगर अब आपको जानना हो कि कल पूरे दिन के अंदर lower time frame में क्या हुआ? Lower time frame का मतलब क्या होता है? Now, this is called a one day is a higher time frame. Okay. अब हम बात करेंगे lower time frame की भाई मुझे जानना है कि कल सुबह सवा दस बजे मार्केट में क्या हुआ था यस yes, कल सुबह ग्यारह बजे मार्केट में क्या हुआ था क्या आपको मालूम पड़ रहा है कल सुबह ग्यारह बजे क्या हुआ था यहां से भाई कल सुबह मार्केट में ग्यारह बजे क्या हुआ था ये क्या मालूम पड़ रहा है मेरे को यू कैन नॉट दिस डज नॉट हेल्प यू इन इन टेलिंग दिस डज नॉट टेल यू दैट वॉट हैपन एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम ओके so now to know what has happened at particular time in a day we'll go to lower time frames first of all i highly suggest ki hum log ye 1 minute 2 minute 3 minute ye sab use nahi karne wale hum use karenge 15 minute ka time frame theek hai now let's have a look at 15 minutes time frame this was yesterday okay again yesterday So we are starting. Okay, this is 15 minutes का time frame. मतलब क्या हुआ? ये बता रहा है कि भाई सवा नौ बजे market खुला. अच्छा, by the way, Indian market opens at 9:15. Okay, closes at 3:30. The trading, okay, trading starts at 9:15 and closes at 9:30. These are the timings, okay, for trading. Now, what does what is it suggesting that okay, prices at 9:15 opened here, at 9:30 it closed here. ओके दिस वाज 15 मिनट्स मतलब इस 15 मिनट के अंदर ये हुआ पहले 15 मिनट के अंदर ये हुआ फिर 9:30 से 7:30 से सॉरी 9:30 से पौने 10 ये हुआ मार्केट और बुलिश हुआ ठीक है लेकिन क्या हुआ 9:30 से 9:45 टू 10:00 मतलब हर 15 मिनट का आपको मालूम पड़ रहा है ठीक है अब मंदी थी फिर नेक्स्ट 15 मिनट तेजी वापस नेक्स्ट 15 मिनट तेजी फिर वापस मंदी आई फिर वापस मंदी आई ठीक है फिर नेक्स्ट पंद्रह मिनट तेजी फिर वापस तेजी फिर मंदी 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 तेजी तेजी 
आप समझ रहे हो ये आपको हर पंद्रह मिनट का टाइम पे हर पंद्रह मिनट में क्या हलचल हो रही है वो बता रहा है आर वी क्लियर ऑन दिस कोई डाउट है हम और समझेंगे और एग्जाम्पल देंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप समझिए कि मैं इसी चीज को करता हूं वन आवर ओके वन आवर का मतलब क्या हो गया कि मार्केट सवा नौ बजे यहां खुला सवा दस बजे यहां बंद हुआ सवा दस बजे यहां खुला मतलब मार्केट में ऑलमोस्ट पूरे दिन क्या थी तेजी ये ये क्या हो गया सवा दस से सवा ग्यारह सवा ग्यारह से सवा बारह सवा बारह से जो भी है मतलब एक एक घंटे का टाइम फ्रेम है ओके उसी तरह अगर मैं टाइम फ्रेम और चेंज कर लू ये हो गया तीन घंटे का टाइम फ्रेम मतलब मार्केट सवा नौ बजे यहां खुला सवा बारह बजे यहां बंद हुआ सवा बारह बजे यहां खुला सवा तीन बजे यहां बंद हुआ ठीक है आर वी क्लियर ऑन दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड टाइम फ्रेम विल अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइम फ्रेम टू बी इज टू बी यूज विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट दैट इज सेकेंडरी एज ऑफ नाउ जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके उसके बाद क्या है नाउ बिलीव मी हमने देखा था एक दिन का टाइम फ्रेम ओके उसी तरह उससे भी हायर टाइम फ्रेम है वन वीक ना वॉट डज वन वीक मीन ओके वन वीक का मतलब हो गया कि इस लास्ट वीक के अंदर क्या हुआ था प्राइजेस खुले यहां पे एट अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड थ्री सेवेंटी बट द मार्केट क्लोज हेयर एट नाइन नाइन सेवन टू बट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वीक मतलब पिछले वीक के अंदर मार्केट ने लो मारा है कितना नाइनटी फाइव हंड्रेड का आर वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये ये जो अभी ये हर कैंडल अभी हर कैंडल एक एक वीक की है ठीक है एक एक वीक की कैंडल है दिस इज वन पर्टिकुलर वीक 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 मतलब ये कैंडल स्टिक आपको बता रही कि इस पर्टिकुलर वीक के अंदर क्या क्या हुआ ठीक है उसी तरह हमें एक सेकेंड हा उसी तरह देर आर मंथली टाइम फ्रेम ऑल्सो अच्छा नाउ 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 आई आई वांट टू टेल यू समथिंग ओके सी कोरोना की जो न्यूज थे वो कब आए थे मोस्टली देखोगे तो मार्च के अंदर इट वाज हेवी सेलिंग ओके व्हेन न्यूज ऑफ कोरोना स्टार्टेड केम इन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर मंथ ओके नाउ वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट हैपेंड ओके दिस इज मार्च आई गेस यस दिस इज मार्च ओके इन द मंथ ऑफ मार्च द प्राइसेस ओपन्ड एट 11400 बट इट क्लोज्ड एट समवेयर सॉरी इट क्लोज्ड एट समवेयर Close at eighty six hundred. Look at the fall. It was a one way fall, and during that time, it also made a low of seventy five hundred. Okay, understand. Okay, and this was the close. Sorry. So, are we clear on this? Are we clear on different types of time frames? Okay, are we clear on different types of time frames? Please reply. Okay. Okay. So then, with this, uh, I'll again go to PPT. Okay. If anybody has a question, please uh, pop up a question, please. Okay. What candlestick, uh, uh, like you know, what uh, time frame we will use will be very strict about it. Don't worry. This is just to get an understanding of different types of trading formats, as you have different types, different types of cricket formats. Okay. See which time frame is better to use first. Let us understand what these time frame, uh, what these time frames suggest. Okay. हम समझेंगे टाइम फ्रेम्स के बारे में हम बहुत पर्टिकुलर होंगे ऐसा नहीं कि दो मिनट भी यूज कर दिया पांच मिनट भी पंद्रह मिनट भी ऐसा कुछ नहीं बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज मंथली एंड वीकली ओके वी आर ओनली गोइंग टू स्टिक टू डेली टाइम फ्रेम्स या एंड फॉर एंटर डे आई टेल यू डू नॉट लेट एस नॉट हरी अबाउट इट एज ऑफ नाउ वी जस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके विद दिस नोट आई एम गोइंग बैक टू द पीपीटी
Okay. Again, I'll just read out what what the PPT says. Okay. So, what is the time frame, time duration that you as a trader would choose? Okay. Hmm. Now, how to choose a time frame? Next slide would cover it. So don't worry. Different types of chart that we saw. We saw that there was a monthly time frame we used. We used a weekly time frame. We used daily. And there are intraday charts, okay? Which are 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes. Okay? Yes, we know this. Now let us go ahead. So now to know what time frame to use, you should know what are the different types of trader, okay? Now there are basically, I, I believe there are four types of trader. Okay. First is scalper. So what does a scalper do? Okay. See scalping is a very easy trade. You have to trade in the same way. You have to trade in the same way. You have to next 15 seconds or 50 seconds. Maximum, sorry. Maximum one minute. Ke andar, you will close your position. 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 You this is an ODI player, this is a T20 player, a test player, and this is a player trading scalper. So, what does a scalper do? The trading frequency is very low. He's a very quick player. Okay? He's like Chris Gale. He came, he came, he came, he came. Okay? Then there is a day trader. Now, what is the meaning of a day trader? Day trader means that he has a position today. Today's market, I mean, the market has always been a position in the day of the market. But before the market is closed, he will give the position square off. He has bought the mark. He will not take the next day. Before the market is closed, if I have bought the Reliance share today, before the day of the day, I will sell the Reliance share. Okay? Look, are we clear? These are two types of trader. Okay? This is like a high frequency trader. High frequency trader. For about 15 seconds, 60 seconds maximum. Okay, they do not hold on more to a trade. This type of trader, what does he do? Scalper. In a day, he takes at least 15-20 traders. Now, I am not a scalper. Okay, I cannot trade like a scalper. Scalper requires you to stick to the screen all the time. I cannot trade like a scalper. So, I am not a scalper. I am a day trader. Okay, and I am a swing trader. Now, what is the meaning of a swing trader? देखो स्विंग ट्रेडर का मतलब होता है कि आपने कोई पोजीशन लिए फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स अज्यूम कि यू आर सीइंग द चार्ट्स ओके नाउ व्हाट इज अ स्विंग ट्रेडर ओके फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ स्विंग ट्रेडर वुड टिपिकली यूज अ डेली टाइम फ्रेम ओके फॉर एग्जांपल सॉरी For example, look at this candle. You see it's bullish, okay? कि भाई ये market में कल तेजी थी and now you are hoping or you are not hoping. Hoping is the wrong thing to do. You are expecting or you are predicting the prices to go up, okay? So you would buy and you would hold in hold on to it until जब तक market में तेजी है. It could be for two days and could last up to ten days. मतलब दो दिन से लेके usually हम बोल सकते हैं हफ्ता भर चलती है swing trades, okay? Are we clear on this? There is a scalper जो कम से कम 50 50 second एक मिनट तक की trade लेता है maximum. There is a day trader जिसने आज कोई सौदा किया वो आज के दिन में निकल जाता है. Then there is a swing trader जिसने आज position लिए वो market के trend के साथ रहता है. ठीक है market में तेजी है तेजी में रहेगा जब तक तेजी है तब तक market में रहता है usually दो से पांच दिन हफ्ता भर. ठीक है इतना हम समझते हैं हफ्ता भर मतलब सेवेन ट्रेडिंग सेशंस ओके मतलब मोटा मोटा आप समझिए दस दिन तक हो जाता है ठीक है सी नाउ यू कैन नॉट पर्टिकुलर डिफाइन द टाइम फ्रेम बट मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि एस पर माय एक्सपीरियंस स्विंग ट्रेड्स यूजुअली यू यू होल्ड यू होल्ड ऑन टू इट फॉर अ वीक ओके आर वी क्लियर ऑन दिस नाउ नाउ पोजिशनल ट्रेडर पोजिशनल ट्रेडर इज अ ट्रेडर हु would stay with a uh, with a trade for about a month, two months, three months. He would stick to the trade for that longer time. Okay. So, these are different types of traders. 
Now, what do I suggest? Okay. Now, see, when once we have learned, okay, maybe tomorrow, after, maybe tomorrow we'll discuss a, a concept, okay, with which you can get started with uh, some trading. But I suggest they don't get started tomorrow itself. But understand that I would suggest you to start with day trading. Okay. Now, people say day trading is very difficult. I I believe day trading is simple because I'll tell you what happens. Okay. Day trading in the hour, I have a position. I have a market. I have a market. Loss or profit. I have a book. I have a book. Next day is a different day. You have your emotions. You have a market. So you will build on your emotions. Okay. When you have day trading, you have emotions. You have a role play. Okay. So what do you think? Trade, day trading के अंदर जैसे market बंद trade बदम आपका I mean trade खत्म और आप you know अब आप free हो गए आपके दिमाग में वो trade है नहीं loss या profit जो भी था वो आना था आ गया देखो exam का exam के result का जो डर रहता है ना वो तब तक रहता है जब तक result नहीं आया है result आने के बाद you are relaxed fail हो या pass हो at least you know it right so that's very easy now the problem with swing trading and positional trading is that I mean, I would not say it's a problem. Obviously, it has its advantages also. But as a beginner, अगर आप swing trading या positional trading शुरू करते हो, तो आपके emotions trade के साथ रहते हैं for three days, ten days, over a month, over two months. So होता क्या है? That you know you're very attached to your trade. आप सो रहे हो, तो भी शायद आपको trading ये ये क्या बोलते हैं हमारे जो emotions हैं आपके trade के साथ, वो बहुत आपको bother करेंगे. So I suggest that first Get comfortable with with day trading. Okay. Now, why do I not suggest scalping? Scalping is a high frequency trade. Okay. Now, though the emotion lasts only for a minute. Okay. But होता क्या है? इसके अंदर trading is very quick. You have to look at the screen. You have to take about 10-15 trades. So I do not suggest. And if you really want to learn scalping, you will have to learn it probably with a professional because it requires. Uh, very good skills. Okay, this is one thing that requires skills, uh, like very high skills. I am not a scalper. I am a day trader and a swing trader. Positional trading, it's a part of swing trading. Okay, but just with a higher time frame. For example, if in a swing trading, you, you are using one day time frame, for positional trading, you will use a weekly time frame. So, Abhika conclusion kya hai? When you get started, hum shuru karenge day trading se. इससे day trading से okay अब हम समझेंगे कैसे हमको हमारी time frames को connect करना है ठीक है a scalper जो होता है ना ये usually one minute की time frame use करता है ठीक है या उससे भी कम seconds fifteen seconds forty five seconds ये time frame use करता है but just note that fifteen and forty five seconds का जो time frame है ये आपको in softwares में नहीं मिलेगा, ठीक है यहाँ देखो one minute minimum है, okay? So if you want that lower time frame, you have to pay for it, okay? You have to pay and you like you know, but this is only for scalpers, so you don't need it, so avoid it, okay? We are not going to get started with scalper now. For a day trader, I believe fifteen minutes, okay, is good enough. How much? Fifteen minutes. There are people who use five minutes, but Sorry, but I prefer 15 minutes. Okay, my experience tells me that 15 minutes is a time frame which is which is uh, like which is very calm also, and you get time to analyze, you get time to study. With five minutes, you know you cannot study. We will see. Okay, we'll see how 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 time frames are reacting. Swing trader, one day, okay, or three hours. And for a positional trader, weekly time frame, very clear. What will you use? Weekly time frame. That's it. Now with this note, again, let us understand how, uh, like you know, how to decide on time frames. अब देखो, अगर मैं इसको एक मिनट कर देता हूँ, okay? Now look at the amount of candles for a day, okay? Right now, this is one minute time frame. Okay, and look at the now. This is a daily activity. Okay, ये हमारा 
कल है जो हमने कल जो ट्रेडिंग में हुआ ना वो बट दिस इज फॉर वन मिनट ओके एवरी मिनट कल अगर छह घंटे थे तो छह घंटे में जितने मिनट थे ये उसकी एक्टिविटी दिखा रहा है ओके okay? सो so, मतलब जितना आपका कम टाइम फ्रेम होगा उतनी ज्यादा आपको कैंडल्स दिखेगी ठीक है और जितनी कैंडल्स दिखेगी उतनी नॉइस होगी नॉइस का मतलब क्या होता है डिस्टर्बेंस ओके सो इसमें आपको बहुत सी चीजें दिखेगी दिस इज गुड फॉर अ स्कैल्पर फॉर अ स्कैल्पर ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट 15 मिनट्स टाइम फ्रेम नाउ सी 15 मिनट्स टाइम फ्रेम के अंदर कितनी कैंडल्स आई वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू सो अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव कैंडल्स ओके सो दिस इज योर लास्ट डे विथ फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टाइम फ्रेम विथ हाउ मच फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टाइम फ्रेम ओके उसी तरह आप देखो so we are going to use 15 minutes for intraday okay we do not have to see half hourly half hourly kuch bhi nahi theek hai aur jab hum swing trading sikhenge now we'll deal with one concept okay and then later on we'll like you know hum ek concept choose karenge and uske baad time spend karenge abhi intraday ke upar focus kare intraday mein hum kya use karenge 15 minutes time frame okay only 15 minutes time frame does anyone have a question Now, अच्छा नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ टू डिसाइड अ टाइम फ्रेम हाउ वुड यू डिसाइड अ टाइम फ्रेम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू गोट टू यू नो टू नो वॉट टाइम फ्रेम टू यूज यू शुड नो योर सेल्फ ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर यार आप आप ऑलरेडी एक बिजनेस में हो विच रिक्वायर्स योर एंटायर टाइम ओके देन ऑब्वियसली यू कैनॉट बी अ स्कैल्पर यू कैनॉट बी अ स्कैल्पर एंड इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ डे ट्रेडर ओके For example, lot. So what do you want? So you have to decide a time. Okay, that this is the time when I would trade. आप समझ रहे हो देखो. For example, now 10 a.m. is a time when most of us are busy, and you cannot see the market. Okay. First of all, it is not necessary to see the market to make money. Once a trade is taken, never see the market. Okay, once you have taken a trade, never ever see the market. Simple rule: just log out of your account, mobile, laptop, जो भी है बंद करके साइड में रख दो. बस. ठीक है. I'm now just trying to tell you that okay, if the market, so for example, 10 a.m. Okay, market opens at 9:15. Okay, but just giving an understanding that if you are a trader who does not want to trade in the morning, you know you're like okay, morning में सुबह सुबह ऑफिस का काम होता है, then आप कब ट्रेड करोगे लंच के बाद सो so, ये पूरे टाइम आपको ट्रेडिंग और देखने की जरूरत नहीं है आप काम शुरू करने वाले हो कब 12 बजे के बाद सो यू वांट टू डिसाइड ओके व्हाट इज योर शेड्यूल हाउ यू कैन गिव टाइम फॉर एग्जांपल अभी आपको मार्केट देखना ही नहीं है देन यू डिसाइड टू बी अ स्विंग ट्रेडर और अ पोजिशनल ट्रेडर ठीक है नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट ओके मेरे को हर दिन कुछ पैसा आए या जो भी मतलब एवरी आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अर्निंग इवन दो इट इज स्मॉल और वट इट इज ठीक है तो आप क्या करोगे तो यू स्टिप टू डेली टाइम फ्रेम आप डे ट्रेडिंग में जाओगे पंद्रह मिनट एंड यू विल हैव टू टेक आउट टाइम फॉर ट्रेडिंग ओके ये पर्टिकुलर टाइम में जब मैं ट्रेडिंग करना चाहूंगा इफ यू आर अ फुल टाइम ट्रेडर यू कैन वॉच द स्क्रीन ऑल द टाइम इट्स अ कम्प्लीटली इट्स अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट गेम ओके एम आई ए फुल टाइम ट्रेडर आई मीन एम आई ए फुल टाइम ट्रेडर नो आई एम नॉट अ फुल टाइम ट्रेडर वट आई डू इज आई हैव डिसाइडेड दैट दिस इज द टाइम एंड आई विल टेक अ ट्रेड Okay, now what is the time when I trade? I usually take trades in the morning at nine thirty, at at nine thirty to nine forty five, and then later in the evening at twelve forty five to one o'clock. Later in the afternoon, I meet. We'll learn more about it. Okay. See, it's very clear. Okay, it's see you have to be very clear with how you want to trade. It's very 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 important. Before knowing how trading works, you should know when you want to trade. I start with a time frame of 15 minutes. Okay. See now what now? Why do I say that it's very important to pick a choice? See if you are stuck between choices, no. What will happen is that you will end up creating stress and confusion for yourself, and you will never be able to become a successful trader. You got to decide, okay, that okay, 
I want to work on a 15 minutes time frame. That's it. I am a day trader. Or I want to work on a daily time frame because I am a swing trader. Okay. Are we clear on this? Anybody has a question? Anybody has a question? Please, I expect uh, uh, you guys to come with, come with a question on this concept at least. Does anybody have a question? Okay, no question. Can we go ahead then? Achha, I just want to know uh, who all would like to be a day trader. Okay. Okay, Romil says he wants to be a day trader. Okay. How much time can you spend in the market? Uh, okay, Kushbu also wants to ask a question. Yes. Kushbu, you can uh, you, you can put your question in the chat box or QA directly. Uh, okay. Okay, so Romil has replied. I I really I'm 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 expecting a few more. Okay. So Kushbu also says that she wants to get into day trading. Okay. Okay. Now what I would suggest is that, you know, day trading, we have to make it very simple. Okay. For day trading for us. Now day trading does not mean that you, you keep on taking trades. Okay. One rule of day trading is that never do revenge trading. Once you have, for example, you've taken a trade up some job reliance may have a TGK position. You book a loss. That is one basic rule of day trading. Okay. Never do revenge trading. Okay. And swing trading. Now swing trading because you swing trading concept both alag. You trade to do it then hold it. Now one more thing. Just as you have time frame, but you have profits or stop losses. But there is 15 minutes. Sorry. 15 minutes ki time frame hai to aapka stop loss kam hoga theek hai compared to jitna aapka stop loss one day mein hai ya swing trading mein hai wahi stop loss kya hota hai hum samjhenge okay i'm just telling you stop loss ka matlab kya hoga the maximum loss the maximum risk that you are uh, willing to take okay that will be the least for the least time frame and will be the highest for the higher time frame but also the target the profits that you are expecting will be higher for Higher time frame and lower for lower time frame. Okay, this is in comparison to the time frame that you're choosing. Okay, so are we clear on this? Okay, so Kushbu and everyone, I suggest everyone can do day trading if you can spare just one hour. Okay, I, one hour in a day is enough. Okay, I don't want you to see the market all day. Okay, we'll choose a time frame that suits best to you. Best time for day trading is you start in early in the morning between 9 30 to 9 45 or 10. Okay. And close your positions by 11, 11 30. Okay. Or you take a trade after lunch hour. That is at about 12 30, 12 45. You take a trade and before the day ends, you close the trade. Okay. So you can trade even if you are working somewhere, if you're a working professional. Okay. We can do this. And if you want to be a full time trader, trust me, I need to give just six hours for it. But we'll do that uh, because, you know, I, 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 I used to do day trading. Okay. Is it fruitful? Yes, it is fruitful, no doubt. But you have to give time. Now I'm in a broking business, so I don't get time. And I'm also into other uh, business, so I don't get time to be a full-time trader. But yes, I do take day trading. Now with this note, let us go ahead, okay? Now we'll again come back to our concepts of candlestick patterns, okay? Now we'll understand the psychology, okay? Psychology of how trading is done. Of, for example, let's assume that this is a 15 minutes time frame candle, okay? So that is the candle hai, ye 15 minutes. Hai. Uh, can you see the properly? I mean, uh, can you see the screen properly? Okay. Now, this, it says it is the most bullish candle, the first candle 
इट इज द मोस्ट बुलिश कैंडल मोस्ट बुलिश कैंडल का मतलब क्या हो गया मतलब कि इस टाइम मतलब ये सब यहाँ पे बायर्स बहुत तेज है मतलब जितनी भी ये कैंडल से पांचों की पांचों बुलिश कैंडल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल दीज आर ग्रीन कैंडल्स व्हाट आर दे दे आर बुलिश कैंडल्स ओके नाउ सी इफ यू गो ऑन द इंटरनेट नो ऑल दीज कैंडल्स हैव बीन गिवन नेम्स ओके सब सब कैंडल्स को एक नेम दिया हुआ है बट वी विल नॉट स्टिक टू नेम्स ओके हम लोग है ना नाम नहीं देंगे कैंडल को एज ऑफ नाउ ओके बिकॉज गिविंग नेम मीन्स दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू रिमेम्बर इट हमें याद नहीं करना है हमें इसकी साइकोलॉजी समझनी है क्या समझना है हमें साइकोलॉजी ओके दिस इज द मोस्ट बुलिश कैंडल इसका मतलब क्या हो गया इफ यू सी दिस हेज नो लोज ओके दिस कैंडल इट हेज नो शेडोज नो विक्स ना वट डज इट सजेस्ट दैट द प्राइज इज ओपन डेयर ओके एंड देन देवर जस्ट बायर्स एंड इट क्लोज डेयर देवर नो सेलर्स फॉर द डे दैट मीन्स no sellers for the day as in, as in the buyers were very strong you see there was no low if the price is opened at 100 the price is never went down they just closed and the and the best part about this candle is that the open this is the open open is equal to low and this it's the close okay the close is equal the is equal to high Are we clear on this? So what is suggest? There are strong buyers, aggressive buyers. मतलब बहुत ही ज़्यादा तेज़ी है, ठीक है? Now we are going to read about this second candle, okay? Now what does this suggest? This is the second most bullish candle. Now you may have a question, sir, जय भाई, यार ये जो candle है, इसकी size इससे छोटी है, किससे? इस can इसकी जो body है इसकी बॉडी इससे छोटी है बट व्हाई इज दिस कॉल्ड द सेकंड मोस्ट बुलिश कैंडल कैन एनीवन टेल मी ओके लेट अस सी हाउ योर माइंड इज वर्किंग ओके वी हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न्स लेट्स हैव अ क्यू एन ए नाउ टेल मी व्हाई 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 एम आई सेइंग दैट दिस कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न इज मोर बुलिश देन दिस वन इवन दो इसका जो बॉडी है ठीक है इट इज बिगर देन दिस बॉडी can anyone tell me come on come on come on let's let's participate okay this is a very important uh, psychological part sure 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 i will i will i will i will use other color i am not i am not tried so let me check okay is this fine okay yes yes kushbu but still you know it, it, it no. okay anybody else on the chat box please okay again okay now see i'll tell you what has happened okay try to understand what has happened during the day the price is opened here okay but the sellers okay Now the sellers, it opened here. Okay, this is the open in a bullish candle. This is the open. Okay, now the prices went this below. Okay, it went down. Understand it went down. Okay, sellers pushed the market. But what happened? There came the buyers. Okay, buyers strongly came. They pushed the markets, and then it finally closed here. What is this candle called? It's called a pin bar candle. Okay. It's called a pin bar candle. Do not remember remember it later on. As of now, just understand the psychology. I will come again. Okay, it's a, this is one of my favorite candlestick pattern. Okay, so please concentrate. What has happened? Okay, the price is open here during those fifteen minutes. Okay, during those fifteen minutes, what happened? The prices went below. It made this low, but at this price, okay. Buyers came in. They pushed the prices up and so high that it closed above, making it a green candle. Okay, what does it say psychologically? The buyers were so aggressive that 
they did not let the prices stay here the buyer came in okay they pushed the prices higher making it a green candle this is a very strong candle one of the strongest okay i'll tell you why this candle is even better than this later on i'll tell you okay why this candle is be better than this also now understand okay this is called a normal bullish this is a normal candle okay which we were seeing on the chart price is opened here closed here it made a low also it made a low it made a high there was a lower shadow upper shadow okay now let's under this is a very interesting candle okay this is a neutral bullish candle let us try to understand the psychology here okay what does it suggest the price is opened here now during the day the prices went up but then here sellers came who came sellers they pushed the prices down here the prices went down but again here the buyers came and the buyers closed the price buyers then closed the prices above the opening price matlab kya ho gaya iske andar ki bhai prices niche gaye यहाँ बायर्स आ गए प्राइसेस ऊपर गए यहाँ सेलर्स आ गए और प्राइसेस क्लोज हो गए यहाँ पे जहां खुली थी वहीं पे ऑलमोस्ट वहीं पे क्लोज हुई इफ यू सी द ओपन एंड क्लोज इज वेरी क्लोज द ओपन एंड क्लोज दे वेरी क्लोज व्हाट डज इट सजेस्ट दैट देयर इज अ कंफ्यूजन देयर इज व्हाट कंफ्यूजन इन द मार्केट there is confusion in the market are you understanding see we are trying to understand what is happening to the buyers and sellers there is confusion what is there ultimate confusion upar gaye to sellers aa gaye niche gaye to buyers aa gaye close ka hui jahan open hue the almost kareeban wahi close hue so this is called confusion in the market looks good can you connect i mean are you able to connect okay so now the last pattern okay see if you see now if you what i'm trying to suggest is that we don't don't try to remember this okay try to understand if you understand it no you will have so much fun uh, for example i'll tell you a thing to do okay the every time uh, just take nifty or bank nifty ka chart how you have nifty as an index chart in the same way you have bank nifty which comprises of all the top banks of india usko mila ke ek index bani hai theek hai i am an index trader okay i trade on index how to trade on index we'll learn later on okay you don't have to remember just understand the psychology now we are going to learn about this pattern okay so now see what has happened okay very interesting okay the price is opened here okay it opened where here during the day prices went up here but what happened here can anyone tell me what is happening with this candlestick pattern why do i call it the least bullish candle among all the candle theek hai ye sab tezi wali candle hai lekin sabse kam tezi isme hai why do i say this come on i want some participation at least for the candlestick this this is very important you know because you know when you understanding a language no you want to understand how emotions uh, work on it you know if i'm saying there are, there are different ways there are different ways in that, uh, you know in which i can say hi 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 you know the way you greet people the greeting depends like you know like mai kisi ko agar hi bol raha hu so my tone reflects it So now, if, see for example, now if I'm teaching you, my tone would reflect whether I'm interested or no. In the same way, when we talk, agree, yeah, Kushbu, you have very good. You are saying aggressive sellers, true. Anybody else? Can anyone? Does anyone else have uh, no lower shadow, still no marketable rise? Okay, okay, good, good, good. the good part is that almost everybody is 
attending the workshop uh, attending i mean almost everybody from the group is attending it thank you so much okay so what does this suggest what does it tell you okay that the price is open here okay price is open here it went up but here sellers they were so sellers okay they were so aggressive here that they pushed the prices here down it just closed above its open but what does it suggest that at the end of this time frame who were aggressive sellers were aggressive because sellers were the one who pushed the prices from the top price yahan the sellers ne isko push kiya aur yahan pe leke aa gaye so it tells you that sellers were any that sellers were very aggressive this is how you read candlestick okay see i know a lot of people who trade just based on these candlestick patterns they just wait okay that you know if i if in a day i get these sort of candlestick patterns no i will trade both of these see now most of the information no are given by this wick this shadow no it tells you a lot of information see now this tells you okay that there are strong buyers but this but this shadow no it tells you a lot more information this shadow tells you a lot more information here shadow tells you that the buyers are so active that they push the prices up here you understand that the sellers were so, the, the sellers were so active that they push the prices down are you understanding does it does it sound interesting to you are you able to understand uh, are you liking to understand uh, the pattern the psychology behind the pattern now these four were the bullish uh, candles okay five were the bullish candles okay and which are my favorite patterns i would suggest this one my favorite second favorite there are no second favorites okay this is my favorite my favorite pattern yes because it tells you information it gives you information and yeah one more thing okay just uh, giving you an idea that whenever you want to buy something make sure that the that candle should be a green candle okay and whenever you want to sell something the candle should be a red candle we'll understand the buying and selling uh, criteria uh, criteria okay now in the same way like now now see now now this is going to be self explanatory you have already understood 1230 okay need some water also okay again here what do we have five candlestick patterns we had a green bullish pattern over there the most bullish in the same way we have a most bearish candle here are, are you understanding isme kya hua hai मार्केट खुला उसके बाद सिर्फ सेलर्स ओनली सेलर्स ओके हियर व्हाट हैपेंड सेलर्स गॉट एक्टिवेटेड हियर एट द हाई ऑफ द कैंडल एंड देन द सेलर्स पुश द मार्केट ओके एंड क्लोज्ड हियर वेरी स्ट्रांग ओके वेरी स्ट्रांग बियरिश कैंडल फेवरेट कैंडल इफ यू सी दिस कैंडल यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके द सेलर्स आर एक्टिव this is a normal candle okay shadow up, lower, upper shadow lower shadow open and close now look at this candle okay i love this candle same it is love the candle as in not to trade but to understand what's happening okay big shadows upper shadow lower shadow buyers here sellers active here just like you know just understand it's, it's very interesting i i i i find so much interest in this now we 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 saw the least bullish candle now let's have a let's have a look at the least bearish candle okay let's understand the price is okay the price is open here sorry uh, price is open here okay now the price is went down okay it's it was bearish okay but later at this point of time the buyers came in strongly and closed just below the open of the candle what does it suggest again 
buyers getting active what does this suggest sellers active sellers active sellers active understand okay where are where sellers kahan pe hai buyers kahan pe wo samajhna bahut important hai okay okay now do you want to okay we have understood candlestick pattern and it's already 12:30 i guess uh, you must be tired okay first of all i want to know what did you have a very good learning session about candlestick patterns have you understood are you able to understand the psychology because now after this i am going to tell you a very simple concept okay on basis on which you can take a trade okay so you are going to learn something right now okay and the good part is that it it happened yesterday only the best part is that you know it has been happening so much and it is a very simple technique okay so if you don't want to trade anything you can just trade this okay please stay there. okay so we are not tired at all it's fun okay good to know okay now i do not see your name could you please uh, also uh, introduce yourself 8922311316 okay so any doubts please because now i'm going to uh, going to take up a trading concept okay so okay guys uh, any doubt any doubt do you guys want to know anything about candlestick patterns any doubt please please okay no doubts i guess should i take it as an appreciation or how or 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 less interest how should i take it okay you joined a little late no no issues so yes yes you will get the recording don't worry however it's my humble request that you know please do not share the recording with everyone with with anybody else okay that's that's a request please now we are going to learn a trading concept so please anybody has a doubt this is a very simple trading strategy which you can apply at 920 in the morning and to be frank you know this particular strategy can give you a risk to reward of almost 1 is to 5 that is if you have risked 1 rupee okay you can look for gaining how much 5 rupees matlab agar aap 5 rupya kamane ke liye agar aap 1 rupya ka risk le rahe ho isn't that a very good uh, what do you say okay so so all this needs is just 5 minutes of your day okay and what else does it need it needs risk management now what i'm going to tell you now see in trading nothing works all the time okay what i am trying to suggest is that we have learned something about candlestick patterns okay based on that candlestick pattern we are going to learn a trading strategy okay a trading concept which can be applied and obviously because you know the risk to reward is so favorable you won't get this trade every day okay ओके यस आदिश जी हमें ना कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न को एक्चुअली कैसे अप्लाई करना है ना चार्ट में वो हम तब सीखेंगे जब हमें ना एक नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट सीखेंगे जो हम कल सीखेंगे सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस ओके आई स्ट्रिक्टली सजेस्ट दैट यू डू नॉट टेक मोर देन टू ट्रेड्स अ डे टू ट्रेड्स आर मोर देन इनफ यू आर अ डे ट्रेडर यू आर नॉट अ स्कैल्पर टू ट्रेड्स अ डे मोर देन इनफ एंड टू बी फ्रैंक व्हेन वी गेट स्टार्टेड नो इन द बिगनिंग आई विल टेल यू ओके that you know you are supposed to trade a stock reliance okay sdfc ho gaya ye sab ho gaya as a day trader i strictly suggest that you know stick to index the less the things you do the better you would but yeah in the beginning we will do stocks because you know uh, concept samajhne mein bahut help karega and see if you are able to trade stocks properly no issues okay no issues with that also you have to decide for yourself whether you you want to trade stocks or you want to Uh, trade index. The reason I trade index is because then my focus is only on index. I do not see anything else. 
एंड बिकॉज यू नो वेन इट कम्स टू स्टॉक्स यू हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑप्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल निफ्टी में निफ, सबसे पहले तो आपको अगर ट्रेड करना है स्टॉक्स के अंदर डू नॉट ट्रेड एनी थिंग बियॉन्ड द निफ्टी फिफ्टी स्टॉक्स सिर्फ निफ्टी पचास के जो स्टॉक्स है वही ट्रेड करने हैं निफ्टी पचास में कौन कौन से स्टॉक्स है वो जानने के लिए यू कैन ऑलवेज डाउनलोड मनी कंट्रोल गो टू मनी कंट्रोल यू गेट अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द स्टॉक्स ओके आर वी क्लियर रोमिन आर यू आर यू क्लियर ऑन दिस और डू यू वॉट डू यू विश टू नो मोर ओके वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक मोर देन टू ट्रेड ओके दैट इज आई मीन बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट यू नो टू मेनी ट्रेड इट जस्ट बिकम्स रिवेंज ट्रेडिंग ओके most of the time i take one trade okay it is very uh, rare that i take uh, more than two trades okay okay uh okay okay so let's i'll just tell you a simple technique okay the based on candlestick patterns okay and the good part is that it happened yesterday okay now i was going to discuss it later on but yeah anila ha huh? so let's go to the chart okay and see uh, is everyone ready i i want everyone to be there okay because it's a very simple strategy and everyone can apply it so it is basically a concept okay it is what it is a concept do not think of it as a strategy okay think of it as a concept so what happened yesterday okay this is a 15 minutes candle what is it a 15 minutes candle okay now i want you to look at it at 920 in the morning so this is a particular strategy okay on which first of all this has to be done only in the morning only in the morning when the market opens at 920 okay these are the rules okay always follow this rule if you want write it down if you want me to give you uh, give this as e notes to you i'll do that just uh, uh, whatsapp me okay if you want e notes for this strategy how many trades can you expect not more than two trades in a month okay you won't get a uh, what do you say uh, a setup like this for more than two times in a in a month okay but very powerful okay very powerful let us now now that we are going to discuss the strategy make sure that you remember the concept okay concept of yeah concept of candles now what does it suggest okay this is look at just focus on this candle okay just focus on this candle what has happened in the morning at 920 now this is 920 okay this is at 920 from 915 to 920 what has happened if you look at the low of the candle low is equal to open sorry i meant to say this is the open this is the open the open is equal to low of the candle now what is what does it suggest ki iske baad a new see and if you see there is no wick okay there is no lower shadow at 920 you see okay price is right now trading at here trading here okay but the open is equal to low are you getting me the open is equal to low what does it suggest that this is the price where the buyers are very active this is the price where buyers got super active now you should take a trade here buy by logic understand the logic okay we read a candlestick pattern which is which was which one the first one was bullish marubuzu now here in the morning we are just concentrating on this thing the open okay it has to be the low of the candle what does it suggest it suggests that as soon as the market opened there were just buyers this is this is yesterday okay what happened see oh sorry Wait. This we'll we'll discuss the doubts also on this. Okay, if there is any doubt, any discussion, just understand the. If you had taken a trade here with 
let's say one is to five ratio. Okay. Here you have taken a trade. Okay. With one is to five ka ratio. Okay. For one rupee risk, five you would have reached here. Here you would have made an exit. Okay. See, I I I am not trying to flaunt a concept, but to understand that. This concept may work. Let's say only works two out of four times. Okay, but in these two trades, let's assume you have made five rupee on each trade. So five into two, you end up making ten rupees. In the next two trades, you lose only one rupee. Net to net, you are able to make eight money, eight rupees. Are you getting me? What I am trying to suggest. The concept here is that the low is equal to open, suggesting that as soon as the market opened, there were just buyers, and this happens very rarely. Okay, please understand. Okay, and whenever something like this happens, okay, you can increase your quantity also. Now, why do I say increase your quantity? For example, usually you take, wait, usually you do about you know like five quantities. You can surely go double your quantity. When you see a strat, when you see a setup like this, this is my favorite setup. Okay, the easiest and the best setup because it tells you that okay, the buyers are very strong. Okay, we'll tell you. See, we'll discuss the stop loss and everything later on tomorrow because today we are discussing on this particular strategy. Now I'll tell you how this has worked previously. We are going to daily time frame now. Okay, and let's. Go. You are going to be amazed. Okay, how beautiful it works. Are you ready? Ready to see previous examples? See, it's. कल हुआ है इसलिए बता रहा हूँ ऐसा भी नहीं है. देखो, इसमें क्या है? There is no shadow. Boom! Market just goes up. Now look at this this candle. Okay, this particular candle. It's a bearish candle. Now, if you want to sell, okay. Okay, there are two things in stock market. You can buy first and sell later on. Also, you can sell first and buy later on at a lower price to make profit. We are going to discuss the concept of short selling also. But that is later. Understand right now that okay, in the same like how you buy first and sell later on at a higher price to make money. In the same way, you can sell something at hundred, buy it back at ninety. You will make off. You will make profit. It is called short selling. Okay. You see, no, no candle, no. I mean, sorry, uh, no wick, no shadow. Good. You you are waiting for such trades. Okay. And when do you look at this? Look at this at nine twenty. Okay. More examples. We'll see. Ah, now look at this candle. Sorry. Yes, look at this candle. Okay. Can you see? It has no shadow. What does it mean? High selling pressure. Look at the selling pressure for that particular day. Look at the selling pressure here. It is amazing. Look at this. No wick. Okay. No shadow. Nothing. Boom. Market goes down. Look at this. Look at this particular candle. No wick. You can just look at the moment. Look at this. No wick. Can you see or do you want me to zoom in more? Okay, everyone. I don't want anyone to miss this. Okay. No shadow. Okay. Did you? Uh, okay, you. Could you attend? Did, I'll tell you. Okay, what is the meaning of no shadow? Again, let us understand first what is a candle. Okay, understanding the concept is must, so we'll just do it. For example, understanding the psychology. For example, this is a candle. Now, what does it suggest? This is the open. Now, if this was a green candle, okay. Assume this is a. Green candle. If this is the open and this is the close, what is says that hundred pe khula, ek so five pe band hua, ठीक है? और shadow क्या बताता है? ये low है market का. Ninety five low हो गया. 
एंड एक सौ दस ये हाई ये जो शेडो होती है बताता है हाई सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू वॉन्ट यू विल हैव टू वॉच द रिकॉर्डिंग अगेन द प्रीवियस वन बिकॉज आई हैव टेकन गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम टू एक्सप्लेन इट बट अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ द ओप इफ देर आर नो शेडोज इट टेल्स यू दैट देर वॉज नो एक्टिविटी योर द इफ द ओपन इज इक्वल टू क्लोज इफ दिस सजेस्ट दैट ओपन is equal to low aggressive buyer here open is equal to close is yahi point se sellers aana shuru ho gaye ab samajh rahe ho are you able to connect and if you have any doubt we can talk about it again look at this okay what does it suggest price is opened here boom price just went down look at this look at this candle okay look at this one this one look at this one Look at this candle. Are you able to connect? Is everyone able to connect? Please, if there are any, if, if there are any doubts, let me know. This is a very, uh, like you know, you can start applying it any time. And the rest, and it works. Okay, now until now, the uh, all the examples that I have shown you, it has worked all the time. Obviously, it does not. I mean, you know, nothing works all the time. But in recently, in the last fifteen days, it has worked all the time. We can go as much as we want. Oh, sorry. Look at this. Okay, now look at this. Now this is this was when Jan. Okay, it happened in Jan. Look at this. No upper shadow. The open is equal to high for a bearish candle. Agar mandi hai for a bearish candle, if the open is equal to close it suggests that there were sellers as soon as the market opened there were only sellers and the prices went down see if you have a candle like this in the opening okay what does it suggest only sellers as soon as the market opened seller 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 sellers are you able to connect so have you learned anything guys was it an interactive nice session for everyone i want to know see you have learned this if you want me to give notes and examples on it i will give it to you anybody has a question please please we are now now we'll discuss tomorrow we are going to discuss uh, about another concept but today we are done we're done with uh, the concept today and also i have shown you a nice concept okay you believe me you just prayed this it is crazy it is this is this works okay it works the probability is good the risk to reward is good what else do you want i mean best 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 it is okay anybody has a question do you want me to end can i can i end the meeting okay okay uh, okay the, did everyone have a good time see your review does help me in uh, working uh, better towards it thank you uh, thank you mr kamal okay uh, rishab what do you mean by the next move i i did not get you see we do not we do not have to expect the next same time same time mr kamal tomorrow same time acha mr rishab uh, i want to tell you that we should not we do not have to know what is going to happen next what do we do what do we know like you know what we know right now is important for example this is just a concept that i taught that i taught you at 920 if you see that the open is equal to low or the open is equal to high if the open is equal to low it tells me that okay buyers were very very aggressive as soon as the market opened if the buyers if if the open is equal to high as soon as the market opened it was it, uh, the, the the prices started falling so it suggest that there were sellers were active it's just a concept we do not want to know what is going to happen tomorrow based on today's analysis we should take a trade 
never expect uh, never expect the next move okay we see this and we are going to act on this if you are right we'll get the money if you are wrong we'll lose our risk risk jitna humne risk liya hai utna hamara jayega bas acha did everyone understand the the, the risk management and uh, the risk the risk to reward ratio i was trying to explain see i expect one to be right at least 8 out of 10 times when you are trading this concept okay this is a very strong psychological concept okay 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 thank you so much so i will i'm going to end the meeting if anybody has a doubt or and yeah notes i'll be sharing after the entire session is done okay the ppt because you know ppt is like the whole thing anybody has a question you can surely get back to me okay goodbye everyone and thank you for such a kind response it was good to see almost everybody attending it okay and 80% of the people are here until the end of the lecture so yeah thank you so much thank you so much thank you everybody i'm available for the next 5 minutes we can still go on If anybody has a question, uh, I'm not ending the meeting directly. You can start with tradingview.com. Okay. You can uh, see if you don't. I I I I highly suggest. Again, see, no doubt I am an affiliate partner of Zeroda, but what uh, if you have an account in Zeroda, you get access to tradingview simply, and also when you want to take a trade, you can take a trade directly from Zeroda itself. Now, if you have two trading softwares, it would be an issue. But for now, do one thing: just go to tradingview.com, open a free account with them. Okay. you can go to tradingview.com and open a free account with them okay no no issues with that and i highly suggest do not go to youtube and start watching something okay once you are done once you learn a con first start applying it and then you know do not mix up two uh, different uh, ways of uh, like you know okay and i suggest that you know whenever you see a candle like this okay like the like the one which we just saw okay always 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 just 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 put it in the group okay so that you know i also take the trade with you and you know it it will be it would be a lot of uh, fun acha and, and and what does everyone suggest do you like the meeting uh, uh, format or this webinar format okay thank you so much everyone i am now ending the meeting thank you so much